Hello everyone, I'm James with Corelight. Today I'm going to provide a quick overview of the connections log. This log provides a summary of the connection between devices and provides details including session, session duration, volume of data, service, and a field called the unique identifier. Let's take a look. The green arrows represent the most basic information you need to know about connections. Timestamp, IP address and port, protocol, bytes transferred, and there are many methods to collect this. Uh, for example, NetFlow. But let's look at a few additional fields Corelight provides that have high value when investigating an event. Specifically, the unique identifier and history field. The UID links the connection log to relevant protocol logs. This allows you to quickly understand the context of a given network flow. The history field is a representation of the TCP state machine over time. I like to say that it summarizes TCP control flags. This image shows the values available for a connection's history. If you are unsure about what the combination of flags mean, there are a few additional fields for con state that summarize the connection. Let's see how Corelight makes it easy to capture these fields. Here we see a connection log in Splunk. The service is SSH. We see a healthy connection state, a rollup of the history field, and the UID at the bottom. We've discussed these fields already, but there are several new ones. In this video, we will introduce Community ID and Maximum Segment Size, or MSS. These fields are added via scripts or packages. Stay tuned for a follow-on video on those topics. Lastly, this arrow highlights the Splunk data models that map to this connection. But how do you get those additional fields into the con log? This is a screenshot of the Corelight interface where packages are managed. In this case, core packages. Stay tuned for additional videos on the encrypted traffic collection and C2 collection. Corelight makes it easy to enable scripts or packages with a click of a button. The buttons circled in green are but a few of the ones that Corelight has developed. Sliding this button enables the script or package and extends the connection log. In this case, community ID. It facilitates pivoting quickly from one dataset to another, and additional details are available on the Corelight GitHub page. Name cache removes one-step analyst's need to perform in SIM post-processing. It takes implicitly linked data, hostname information, and merges that into the con log. Check out our blog for additional details. I hope you enjoyed the short overview of the connection log. It was my pleasure to share the information with you. If you have additional questions, please contact us. I believe we are stronger when we defend together, so good luck and good hunting.